reactive. It was hosted by Europa Haus Klagenfurt and took place from the 3rd to the 10th of October 2018. We were glad to have more than 29 participants from 10 countries who participated in this awesome training course. The results the training course actually brought were really awesome. We had so many different kind of contributions from all the various countries and also had the possibility to host again two cool trainers from Estonia and Brazil and had the possibility to gain in various workshops quite a lot of nice outputs. Santos, I'm from Brazil. I'm a youth worker since 2005 professionally before being a very active young person in my community and my role here in Creative, I'm one of the trainers, one of the persons that's going to lead the learning process. Hello, my name is Aini and I am from Estonia. Uh, also I am a youth worker uh, since uh, 2013 professionally and uh, I am the other trainer Together with Marco, we have been leading this uh, learning experience for our participants. came a little bit connected with the main objective or one of the main objectives of Erasmus Plus which is giving competences to young people and in this case to youth workers to improve the young people competences to get into the job market. Uh, in 2012 there was this big crisis and actually the project started being from 2014 and now here in this edition, would you like to focus in the, the understanding of the unemployment in the different uh, countries in the European Union, but also what are the like what are the different like the different ways of uh, young people to develop themselves? We have a day also to understand what are your creative traits. You have also personal development day, and in, in the end they can actually they put together a project to affect the young people lives in a way that they will be better prepared to be workers or even entrepreneurs which is also a point of this project. So yes, by the end of this uh, training course our participants are creating very concrete action plans uh, what they want to improve in their own local communities or in their personal life and uh, they are presenting their amazing ideas uh, to us and hopefully when they return home, they will actually implement their project ideas. Ooh, creative. Creative. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been living in Germany since 10 years. It is my second project and I came to this project because I want to prove my intercultural competence, uh, find new friends and um, I inspirate me for good things, for to do good things. Yes, it's my ma main purpose. Hi, Tere. I'm Henry from Estonia. I came here to this uh, project to develop myself, to get some new knowledge about different topics that we are uh, having here and then to distribute 
things that I learned uh, back in my home, back in my local society, uh, to improve the knowledge of these uh, youngsters, maybe who live in the area too, as well as to enjoy the nice place that we have here. This is a really beautiful place. So, thanks. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, my name is Kristina. I also come from Estonia. I'm uh, Russian native speaking, Estonian and English also. So I came here for the basically uh, international experiences and uh, youth exchanges. I, I do know that this is a training course, but we study and develop myself while, while sharing experiences also. Hello, I'm Luka Stefan. I'm uh, from Romania. Uh, my motivation to come here uh, is like I want to know more cultures, to be more creative, and to learn about entrepreneurship. So my name is Mihai. I'm from Romania as well. Um, my key, I came here because uh, I want to um, upgrade myself and understand the. Uh, empowerment of multicultural businesses and uh, to see how people think, act in different countries. My name is Mara Maria Cristiana, I'm from Romania and uh, I'm come here because I wanted to know um, a lot of people in different countries and uh, to learn about non-formal education and about how uh, you can get a good job and... Why are we here? Well, I think we are here because we are friends and uh, in to we talk a lot and I see ourselves as young entrepreneurs. And yeah, so far we've been learning a lot. Now we are making a project about uh, including... Uh, women? In the society, women that have suffered main motivation was to learn more about this, how the process works and to motivate us even more. And we thought it would be good because it's the first trip we do together and then we wish we could, we could see how me and Louis works when we are together. So this was a good opportunity to do this. Yeah, to develop kind of the, our teamwork. Yes, basically. our teamwork. And yes. how to deal with people as well. <laughs> yeah. During our excursion, we had the possibility to visit um, two different kind of centers. We visited the startup center from Corinthia, um, uh, which showed us actually the different kind of possibilities uh, Corinthia is actually providing to startups. Um, furthermore, we visited the makers market, which is a place where actually really great stuff can be developed from young entrepreneurs and also will, will be soon a co-working space. So we actually really try to have the entrepreneur side as well as the employability side to be a focus set on the excursion day. So discover local reality was really a added value to this project. together with so many partners from very different countries. I'm really glad that we also getting the support from the Landesjugendverrat as well as the main support for this activity from the European Commission through the Erasmus Plus Youth in Action Program. to add that um, for anyone who's thinking maybe well should I contribute something should I uh, partake and, and take this opportunity for a European Union project I would say don't think just go just go and even though you may be a shy person and you're not used to working with this environment it's really good to give it a go and take that chance when you still can yeah. 